We work within the South Pansberg Mountains of South Africa. It's an incredibly beautiful area, um, incredibly diverse in terms of its biodiversity. But mountains themselves are very poorly understood. So one of the things that we're trying to understand is simply the role that mountainous regions play in biodiversity conservation. Uh, and in doing that, we, we focus on two particular mammalian groups, uh, the carnivores, the large carnivores in particular, such as leopard and brown hyena, um, and the primate communities. Uh, and trying to uh, understand the role that uh, mountainous regions play in their conservation and how these animals uh, live in these particular environments. One of the things that we inevitably get drawn into is that uh, carnivores interact with uh, many of the local landowners taking livestock, uh, primates are crop raiders and so we're increasingly drawn into un trying to understand issues surrounding human wildlife conflict and what we can do to try and help mitigate that. So one of the most critical things that we need to understand is exactly how the population is responding to these threats. So, uh, so one of the things that we do is maintain a, a permanent array of uh, camera stations, remote camera traps uh, that are uh, operational throughout the year, constantly recording images as, uh, as they're triggered when wildlife walks by. So, uh, so one of the things that we actually need help with is, is dealing with all of these images. So to give you an example, in 2012, uh, Earthwatch volunteers help us process some 165,000 camera images as part of the work that they did with the team. That's an enormous amount of work and an enormous contribution that they can help uh, to understanding that part of the uh, wildlife conflict problem that we're trying to address. So I guess a picture of success is one where we are helping to change people's perceptions of the way that wildlife lives within the mountains um, so that we can start to try and reduce those levels of mortality. Um, but the only way to really do that is to really uh, try and work with uh, the, the human communities, the human landowners that are living in the area to help uh, them develop strategies for reducing the way in which they're coming into conflict with these animals. Mm -hmm.